Hi, I'm Jordan from Kettner Creative. In this video, we're going to show you how to set up and connect the Shure SM7B dynamic microphone to the Focusrite Scarlett 2i2 audio interface. This is a very popular setup for podcast recording, voiceover work, or anything like that. This microphone is very famous as a broadcast dynamic microphone for vocals in a studio. So we're going to show you how to set it up. A big question that a lot of people have is how does it sound with the Focusrite? Does the Focusrite have enough gain to power this microphone or do you need an inline preamp like the Cloudlifter CL1? We're going to answer all those questions. If you're looking for pricing or specs for anything that you see in this video, we do have a ton of links in the description below. So the Focusrite Scarlett 2i2 is already connected to the computer, so now we can connect the Shure SM7B to the Focusrite Scarlett. To do that, we're going to use an XLR cable. I'm going to connect it to the bottom of the microphone here and plug it into the front of the audio interface. So, as you can see here, we're just going to turn up the preamp here. Before we turn up the preamp, let's quickly talk about what the preamp does. The preamp pre-amplifies the signal coming from the microphone. This microphone and every other microphone just generates a very small analog signal that comes down the XLR cable. So to get it to an appropriate level for our computer, we do need a preamp. A preamp quality may vary, but the Focusrite Scarlett has a pretty good one for the price. But what this will do is it'll bring the volume up for this microphone while introducing as little noise as possible. So we're going to turn this up. When we see the light go green, that means that we're at about minus 24 dB. So we're crossing 8 out of 10 here, and we just saw the first little blink again. So we're going to keep turning it up, and we're about 9.5 out of 10 before we're getting blinking. Now, when we go over to Logic here, we can see that we're at about minus 21 when we look at the meter and we're speaking here. So that's pretty low. Generally, if you're doing a home recording or podcast recording or voiceover work, you want to be somewhere between minus 18 and minus 12. That gives you about 12 decibels of headroom before you peak. So we can see here that we're basically maxed out and we're at minus 11. I don't think this is a super good solution because when you go past 9 out of 10 on the Focusrite Scarlett here, you do notice quite a bit of hiss and background noise that comes from the preamp. So my personal preference is to avoid turning this up past 9 out of 10. So for that reason, I would highly recommend some type of inline preamp with this. For today, we're going to use the Cloudlifter CL1. So I'm going to turn this down. We're going to undo what we just did. So we're going to unplug the XLR from the interface. We're going to plug it into the Cloudlifter CL1. Then we're going to connect another XLR cable out of the CL1 and put it into the Focusrite Scarlett 2i2 audio interface. Plug this into the front. Now this little inline preamp, it's not magic, it does need uh, phantom power. So it trades phantom power for reduced gain, basically about, it reduces the gain by about 20 dB. So if we turn phantom power on, and then we can turn up the preamp here, and now we can see that this light blinks green, and we're getting a pretty good level, so I'm just going to turn that down, reset this. Uh, blinks green there at about 50% instead of 90, 95%. So that's already a huge gain savings. You will get a better sound out of this microphone with the cloud lifter there because we're not running the preamp on the interface as hard. So I'm just going to turn it up here. Actually, if you look over at Logic, we're at minus 16. That's perfect uh, for doing a recording. Now, if you're in a live environment, say you're doing a live stream, video conferencing, something like that, people will probably complain that you're too quiet if you're at minus 13, minus 15. So you really do need to get it as close to minus six or zero as you can. So we're gonna turn this up. As we turn this up, you can notice that it might flick yellow here. It flicks yellow right when it crosses minus six. So if we look over at logic here, we can see that we're bumping up to minus three. Now, just so you can hear how this sounds, I am gonna turn it up until it goes red 
when it goes red here, that means that we're at zero. We're already clipping and peaking. So you can hear how bad this sounds when we do clip or peak. It's completely distorted and you can never recover that lost data that goes past zero. So I'm gonna bring it back down to about minus 18 or so. So keep that in mind. If you're home recording, uh, keep it between minus 18 and minus 12 just so you have that headroom. If you're live, try to get as close to minus six as you can, but you do not want to hit zero. Another thing that I want to show you with this interface is how the Shure SM7B sounds with the optional air mode. I'm going to turn the air mode on now. So what the air mode does is it adds a little bit of analog distortion and it does boost those higher frequencies to help open up some darker microphones like the Shure SM7B. So you could be the judge here whether or not you like it for my voice or not, but this is what it sounds like when you have the air turned on and now you can turn it off again. Now you can plug headphones into it and the Focusrite Scarlett has a couple different monitoring options. The single circle here will sum both your inputs into both ears. And if you go to the dual circle, it'll put input one to your left ear and input two to your right ear. So that helps if you're doing something like monitoring a stereo source or you really wanna keep the difference between two podcast guests or something like that. If you have any questions about anything that we've covered in this video, please leave a comment in the comment section below. If you wanna see more videos like this in the future, please like and subscribe. And if you want to support this channel, please consider becoming a member. We have all types of different perks and exclusives if you join the channel by becoming a paid member. There's a big join button right below the video if you want to do that as well. Thank you so much for watching. <laughs>